Hello, welcome back to Katab's Farm YouTube channel. When you set up a poultry farm, expect challenges such as disease, thieves, and of course sometimes feeds. Now, in this video we will share a disease known as avian influenza or bird flu. This is the disease that is contagious in many birds. It affects both domestic and also wild birds. When your birds get it, you only see it either in the first three days to seven days. But treatment takes about seven to ten days. Now, this disease, remember, it is not vaccinatable. You can only boost the immunity of your birds by giving them good feeding. This avian influenza is a very bad disease, respiratory sickness that, that destroys the bird. You can see it has symptoms like eye discharge, the mouth has watery saliva, there is nozzle discharge, there is, the eyes are swollen, or the face gets swollen. Today I want to show you how to treat it. I want to put on my mask and treat these birds. Once you get this disease, first of all, we must isolate the sick ones from the health ones. So I've done a separation, I've put the health ones this side, and then left the sick ones this side. Meaning, isolation is key so that you don't have the spread of all the birds. Once you have isolated, remove the husks on the floor. After removing the husks, start your treatment. So today, I want to use different treatments so that you can learn when you get this sickness what you can do. I want to mix up this tetracycline 10%. Mix it up with multivitamin and tyrosine. This tyrosine is very good for respiratory sicknesses. Then also tetracycline is also good for fever. And then this multivitamin gives them the bad appetite to eat the feed. Because once the feed is not going through, then there is no, there is, there is no way the body can get healed. So this is going to be injectable. So I will inject with this, with this needle. An injection is done subcutaneously. So we shall put in the chest, just inject in the, in the chest. One meal, only one meal. <clears throat> so in the water, for those who shall not get sick, we shall put erythrite 35 percent and those which are already sick we shall put also 35 i mean we shall put in the water however because they don't eat we shall put in the mouth for the eyes i will be using this tetracycline on the eyes which are sick then we are going to add this apsa meat in the water it is good for flu however the birds don't like it so what we do we put it in the water, then we put the water in the feeds. So now we start our work. <clears throat> so we have done five meals each. That is tyrosine, tetracycline, and multivitamin. Each of them is five meals. So we are mixing in this cup so that we have equal measure. So each bird will be injected just. So I start with the very sick one. So it's mixed. So you're going to take one meal like this. So this, these are three meals. I'm going to take just one meal and I inject it in the chest. We are not stopping there because, as I said, we want to give these birds enough medication today. So I draw the mixture of these antibiotics, antibiotics. That's the erythrite and apsa mint I put in the mouth.
because the bird the bird is not able to eat so i have to be sure that i give the water in the mouth okay now we are not done remember it has symptoms of the eyes Perfect. When the bird gets this disease, you find that its life becomes so miserable. To you, the farmer, the eggs become so soft, so you make losses in your egg production. So this disease has to be avoided. In the only way to avoid it is by using biosecurity and again, boosting the immune system of your birds. The birds become so weak, depressed, and in a in the real sense, they have no appetite. It's really miserable. You can't believe it. Very, very bad situation. It's a very bad situation here. Sneezing, looking miserable, poor respiration, everything completely miserable on the farm. <laughs> 